Hello everyone, my name is Jojo. Welcome to my channel Joyroot Jojo. It's a tutorial series on Intune. In my previous videos, we have learned how to auto enroll devices into Intune, what are compliance policies, how it works, what is conditional access policy. So all these we have already uh, covered in my previous videos. If you have not watched yet, please watch my previous videos first before watching this video. And as usual, if you liked it, please subscribe like and support me and if you have any questions or suggestion please mark it in the comment section all right in this video we will check how to create conditional access policy and how it work along with compliance policy we will create a conditional access where we mention access the device access should be granted only if the device is device marked as compliant all right so let's do it practically so we have in the intune admin center and if you click on to get the conditional access policy you have to click on devices and here you can see uh, compliance policy and conditional access policy so we have already created a compliance policy here if you click on it we can view that so this is the compliance policy i have already created it click on that i'll just show you what settings we have made it here to be to mark the device as compliant here you can see we have three conditions to mark the device as compliant. The first one, minimum OS version should be Windows 10. Maximum OS version can be should be 11. And firewall should be firewall is required. If the device firewall is off, then the device will be marked as non-compliant. So this is the policy we have created in our uh, in our test environment. So now we will create the conditional access policy create the conditional access policy you can click on conditional access here you can access the conditional access from uh, from even from the microsoft entra id for that go to your microsoft entra azure id and click on security here you can find the conditional access policy the same conditional access policy what you can see in the intune admin center the same is reflected here so what i mean to say it is integrated each other it is linked each other so if you create a policy here that will be reflect on the Azure AD or Entra ID in the same way, vice versa, vice versa. Even if you create it in the Azure AD or in Entra AD, the same will be reflected on the Intune Admin Center. All right. So let's create a conditional access policy. To do that, uh, go to policies and create new policy. So before doing that, we'll check we do we have any other policy or not. Go to conditional access. Go to policies. Yeah, we have already created one policy here. So what I will do, I will delete this ones. Delete it. Now we'll create a fresh policy. To do that, click on new policy. And it's asking me for to name the uh, name the conditional access policy. So we'll name it as compliance restriction compliance restriction okay in my previous video i have explained what is conditional access policy the theoretical area i have covered it in my previous video so uh, i will just brief it what conditional access policy conditional access policy will collect some signals from the devices and from the uses signals are something like uh, uh, who when where and how who is accessing the device, which group he is member of, which device, which platform he is logging in, which location he is logging in, and at what time he is logging into the device. And it collects all those signals, and according to that, it takes decisions. Decision is something like grant access or block access. These are the signals, actually. Uh, it is collecting the signals. So with, with this condition, it will collect the signals and it takes a decision whether to grant access or to block the access so i have named uh, i have given a name to the conditional access policy here which is compliance restriction now it goes to the assignment it can be assigned to all uses and selected uses and group see here you can alert it to a particular group a user or a group so in our case as it's a lab environment i am allocating to all uses so when we are allocating to all uses, what you have to make sure it is applicable to the ID you have logged in. You have to be very careful when you are allocating the conditional access policy here. 
lab environment i don't care uh, so i am giving all uses but you have to be very careful while you apply in the production environment and if you have to exclude someone you can exclude it here okay now we move to target resources uh, here we have all cloud apps we have cloud apps, user actions, and authentication context. Cloud apps is something like uh, uh, all the cloud apps you can uh, provide the access or you can uh, select for some particular apps here. In our case, we are selecting all cloud apps. We are not excluding anything here. And we move on conditions. So these are some signals. Device platform, uh, location, client apps, filter for devices. Device platform, if you check that, have uh, if you enable it you can uh, you can mention any devices or you can uh, specify the platform like windows mac os linux windows phone I, so accordingly so um, here i am giving any devices location again if you enable it you can give any location or all trusted location so microsoft has got some uh, trusted location uh, data with uh, by default so if you provide all trusted location it it takes takes that uh, from the from their database and select a location you can mention or select the location here so i am selecting all trusted locations so uh, what exactly happening through this condition some machine learning is happening in behind it will calculate whether you are from the proper location you are accessing to the proper device proper ip range are you the authenticated user to access to this device so all this machine learning is happening all these signals it is collecting and it is taking some decision on according to that signals okay all right so we'll move client apps again uh, yes uh, if, if you want you can uh, mention the client apps browser apps mobile apps and desktop clients exchange active sync clients other so you can uh, allocate it accordingly so, and filter for devices you can filter it like exclude a filter device from the policy you can add some expression expression something like uh, manufacturer uh, contains you can mention as hp and if you have uh, something like uh, model number um, contains or start with so same thing you can exclude if you want to filter some devices or uh, you can do it here so it's not required in our case I'm discarding it and here comes the access control grand access here we have this is something where we take the decision we and uh, we take the decision like block access so if you do not meet these criteria it will be block access or grand access with some other criteria you require multi-factor authentication or you can say require device to be marked as compliant so if you want to access to the device require device to be marked as compliant so this is the way how it works along with compliance policy in the compliance policy we have mentioned the device should be windows 10 uh, minimum os version should be windows 10 maximum os version should be windows 11 and the firewall should be enabled so if it is meet the meet these conditions uh, device will be marked as compliant if the device is marked as compliant access will be granted from the conditional access and it is giving me a warning here warning is something like don't lock yourself out so as i told you when you apply something uh, it it will get affected to the user that you have logged in so in in this case i am excluding the current user and I am creating the conditional access policy here. Policy is being created now. Successfully created the compliance restriction, which is a conditional access policy. So the outcome is something like if the device marked as non-compliant, access to that device should be blocked. So we do not have any device that is non-compliant. So we will make the device as non-compliant. Do that. If you uh, disable the firewall, the device will marked as non-compliant. So we will do that. Missed one thing while saving the conditional access policy it was on report only and we have to click on on so we get an error message like security default must be disabled to enable conditional access policy so to disable security defaults on conditional access policy we have to go to uh, microsoft entra admin center by default it will this page home page you can go to properties 
and here you can see manage security defaults you have to disable it once only then you'll be able to save it if you refresh it this will be working fine save it now actually the policy has taken effect i am in the client mission now so to make this device as non-compliant what we'll do we'll just disable the firewall to disable the firewall we'll go to the run and type firewall dot cpl and we'll disable it we'll turn it off and okay click on okay so we will now this machine should mark as non-compliant so it has to be get synced once to do that go to settings go to accounts go to info and click on sync now the client machine has been sync sync properly i can see it is 6 57 it is synced successfully and you can see the time here which is seven o'clock so it is just uh, synced three minutes back now we'll do one thing we will log into the uh, any of the cloud apps like uh, portal.office.com and let's see what it shows if i type portal.office.com now when it is trying to sign in we are getting a error message here device must be comply with your organization compliance requirement this device does not meet your organization compliance requirement Put your organization device management portal to see why this device is marked as non-compliant so as this device has marked as non-compliant it is not allowing us to access any of our organization applications so it is blocked so first our device has to be marked as compliant only then you can access the cloud apps so i will show that conditional access once more what all settings we have done here uses i have given assignment i have given to all uses and uh, groups um, and target i have target source i have mentioned all cloud apps condition only one condition we have selected that is client apps like uh, all browser mobile apps everything we have selected here and the grant access only required device to be marked as compliant to grant access required device to be marked as compliant to grant access to the uh, cloud apps all cloud apps so that's it we'll meet you in another video till then goodbye